everybody. It's uh, Rod here, uh, Futures 8-Bit. Yeah, him. A um, few moments with a Spectrum set up, so I'm going to try and use it to my advantage. Um, I did a video a little while back showing you Bob Fossil's file browser, which gives you long file names. Yeah? And you've got to replace a couple of folders. There's a video um, briefly showing you how to do that. But yeah, the fossilrecord.co.uk, I think, is his website. Um, but yeah, it gives you long file names. A replacement browser, all good. Um, so far, so good with it. I've not found any major issues, or any issues, in fairness. But, you know, it's one of those things where, um, you know, uh, give it a go if you like experimenting, because it seems pretty good to me, you know. Um, and once I daily drive something long enough, I will recommend. But as I've literally only used it for a few minutes, I, yeah, in, in fairness. But, yeah, it's certainly... It's, it's good. It's definitely good. It's definitely worth the change. If you can copy files around on an SD card and copy them back again, you might as well give it a go. But, um, yeah, and of course, there's Brick Rick, which is available in the 499 range. Why don't you check it out now? Anyway, job in hand. So, you've copied your files across, um, and there's a good manual for this, so do read that, because I'm still reading it. But if you load... Um, browser config hopefully with no typos there we go um, you get a config file and the first thing you must do absolutely must do is go into it and look look there I'm using the arrow keys on the keyboard by the way Kempston joystick control so you can load your games using your div without even touching the keyboard well you know sure you'll have to touch the keyboard you'll certainly have to turn the power off on at some point but yeah that I mean that that's a holy grail to me so okay so i've just turned that on um there's a few bits and bobs in here um that some of you might be interested in actually uh, remember last folder if you keep going into deep dive in long directories that might be a good thing to turn on i like everything to reset device number ah, i guess that's for disk drives run away i don't i don't know um, but yeah, just, just for customization's sake. Um, and I might turn this into the default browser on the SD cards once I'm confident with it and think people like it, you know, I might swap over, but you know, the links are there and all of that. Feel free to put it on yourself. Um, so yeah, just to make this more individual to me, I'm going to change the top line color to futures 8-bit blue if I can. And that's either up or down or left or right. To do this, so I'm going to go for up. There we go. Right, uh, so there we go. Futures a bit blue. How does that look on the capture? The main reason I'm doing this is because the um, capture was having a bit of an issue with the yellows and whites on my other machine. This one, it seems to do a good job of it. But yeah, I'm going to go for that, and we can have that bright as well if we so choose. And I say we go for the bottom line. Let's let's be disgusting and go. Um, Green jelly green. Should we have that bright? B for bright, isn't there? We are B for bright. <gasps> yeah, green jelly. Mm, uh... Actually, that's more selection, isn't it? I'm going to turn the bright off that. Yeah, 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 that's better. That's better. Right, we can change the border colour. I recommend you don't do that. I tried that and it was awful. Um, but yeah, I'm going to change the selection colour. Um, the highlights. So again, you can change the actual text color by doing left and right. I'm doing up and down to do the um, background. Whoa, that's awful. On it looks good on capture, terrible on CRT. Let's go for oh, it's in bright. Ooh, yuck. Nah. Ugh. Awful. Worse. Blind. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, okay, then maybe bright yellow might work. We're going to go for bright yellow. The good news is, if you suddenly decide you don't like any of this, you just press um, D for default settings and it wipes everything out and puts it back to normal. And I also believe if you... Um, Look on the SD card, it leaves a config file behind. So if you just delete that, that'll do the same thing, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to save that. So we should have a cyan border at the top, future blue, some green, and some other bits I've forgotten, and joystick control. 
And that's exactly what we have. <gasps> mm. Right, and the main thing is another important thing, of course. If I pull the power out of the back of Specky and plug it back in again, Exidos firmware loads. Good. Still running 8.8. .8. I haven't bothered to update to 8.9. And then press the NMI button. Those settings were indeed saved. So I can quickly, this time using the joystick, rush straight back to Brick Rick. Available at futurezigbit.com for $4.99. £4.99, people. I'm like a charity. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, just for joystick control alone, it's got to be worth it, right? So, yeah, um, that's that. I am now going to cut this video off and then... I might suddenly make a video of me just playing Brick Rick for a bit for no apparent reason. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So, yeah, until the next time, do check out uh, Bob Fossil's Far Browser, available from the fossilrecord.co.uk, and visit my site, obviously, futuresabit.com, tfwab, and buy everything, because solid gold speedboats will not buy themselves. <laughs>